Alright, welcome back to my ninth Touch Designer tutorial. And today we're gonna create some text textures and map those on a number of different, or actually just two different <laughs> um, geometries, so 3D geometries or SOPs. And I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of the three different approaches or the three different things we're, we're gonna I'm going to show you today. So the first one is what you what you already can see here in the background, and um, some stuff you can change about it. That's uh, yeah. I'm going to show you later. Uh, second one being a uh, tube. So if I change the period here, so this kind of uh, whoop. So this kind of glitchy tube <laughs> for lack of a better description and um, the third one being uh, another tube but this one combined with instancing to create this cool drive-through tunnel thing effect um, yeah all right so I'll just uh, dive right in and show you how to do this whole thing so I'm um, gonna delete this whole network and just leave the null at the end there. So I'm gonna uh, attach a render to this. And um, the last times I always just here in the comment tab change the resolution like this. But uh, another another user on YouTube showed me uh, or mentioned that it would be wise to do uh, do it like this of the Python expression, so it's more flexible. So um, I'm going to type in me dot parent parentheses dot with. And now whatever the parent container, so this container here is, whatever it's with is, it's going to be the same here. And now I'm just going to repeat that for the height. So copy paste that and just say height instead of width. And there you go. All right. So um, the second thing here is to attach a, or insert a transform. And I'm going to change the background color to white. Say comp over background color. And um, actually turn this off for a second. And then um, insert a look up here and attach a ramp to this lookup. Okay, so far uh, to for the for the tops at the end. Now I'm going to drop three things in here. Um, first is a geo for for the geo. So there's an in and output. I'm going to first just take a rectangle or anything else and then attach this to a geo and then just delete the rectangle again just so we have the the input there. All right. So um, the second thing I'm dropping here is a camera. I'm gonna change nothing about that. And the third thing is an ambient light. So these three comms I dropped in there, and now we're gonna need a material, and I'm gonna use a fong this time. So this fong I'm gonna drop onto here and say power material, and then. I will now create the the texture that that I like the text texture that is actually gonna yeah display text. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to drop a text top in here and change a few things. So the first thing is the text itself. For some reason, I just choose we are spinning here. And I'm going to change the font to Metropolis Black. You can ch you can take any kind of font. And I'm going to change the font size to like 150. And um, change the color to black. And change the resolution to like 2000 by 400. All right. And now when I've done that, I'm going to attach this to a transform again. And 
um, on this transform I'm gonna say background color white as well and say comp over background color so um, now I'm gonna just attach this to null drag this down here and drag the null onto the form and say parm color map all right so that's the basic setup for the texture and everything now comes the fun part and the first thing I'm gonna drop in here is a sphere sop so that's the first thing I showed you as well so actually let me drag that down here so the sphere sop I'm only gonna change the rows and columns or the number on here so both change this to 100 and then attach a transform to this which I'm gonna change nothing about and a noise also not gonna change anything there and then a texture and on this texture uh, before that I'm actually gonna drop a null here as well and connect this to the geo and then show you this in the background yeah, one second <laughs> Okay, so first on the texture, I'm going to change the texture type to rows and columns. So you can already see here the, the difference. And um, say apply to vertex texture fixed seams. And um, now I'm actually going to, so it makes more sense if I just show you that in the, b in the background. I'm also going to here on the ramp change the white to something else white so I want that to be this nice pink red color um, yeah that's already it <laughs> okay so here on, I'm also gonna with control A select everything and turn off the viewer so it's uh, running more smoothly so on the texture now I'm going to change the scale here to something like 20 and um, yeah as you can see if you change the scale here the the texture or yeah the one little sentence or word there is just being uh, repeated so yeah I'm gonna set this to around 30 and now on the noise I'm gonna change the translate Z expression to be slower so times 0 0.3 or something and then uh, now you, you're free to play with the noise here you can change the period and it could be smaller or uh, bigger and you can uh, change the exponent I really like that effect to be smaller and then you get this really glitchy sort of um, look where the, where the texture is really like stretched okay so far so nice <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna get to the second thing now so I'm going to oh, drop a tube in here and change a few things about that as well so I'm gonna change the orientation to the Z axis change the details to like uh, 30 and 50 and change the height to 10 I am then going to copy paste this and put that in there and now change the texture here to no, I'm going to show you that in a second so now I'm going to just attach that to the null there and now as you can see here the text is on the the wrong like it's it's upside down or like mirrored so why is this not working, by the way? That is strange. Okay, screw this. I don't know why it's not working, but I'm just gonna drop it in there. Um, and change the period here to be something higher. And now on the texture, just change the texture type to equirectangular inside. And now this makes for a bit different effect, but you know you can you can read the text and uh, I think it actually looks really cool 
you can change the harmonics, you can change whatever you want to hear. <laughs> Always experiment around, play around. So um, I'm going to get to the third thing. I'm just going to uh, create another tube uh, underneath here. And this tube, I'm going to change its orientation also to the Z axis, not change the height. Uh, just change the column. No, I'm also going to leave that as is. And then I'm going to also attach a texture here and attach this texture to the null. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm also going to change the texture type to equi rectangular inside. So you already get this, this circle with the texture on, the text texture. And now I'm going to combine this with some simple um, instancing to make it move like a, the tunnel that I showed you earlier. So here I dropped the pattern. And I'm going to change the pattern name to TZ. And then change the type to ramp, the length to 100. And I'm going to make this move in time, saying apps time dot seconds times like 0 0.1. So now you see this ramp shifting in time. And now in the common, I'm not going to do anything in the common. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to attach a map here. And then map the map these values from 0 to 1 to minus 110. And then attach this to now. And now on the geo here, on the instance tab, turn on instancing, drop the null onto there, and on the translate Z, select the TZ. And there you go, there you have the, the cool tunnel effect. To make this move towards you, just on the pattern phase here, just, just say times minus 0.1 instead of 0.1. And to make an even nicer effect, you can, on the cam here, change the view FOV angle as I showed you in the beginning like to something higher and yeah that looks really sweet if you want a nice glitch effect that I found out you can change the length here to be uh, just something higher than 100 and if I pause this and if you look at this now I'm not sure if you can see it on the YouTube compression but it certainly looks really uh, cool makes like really glitches out these uh, yeah, whatever texture you have. Uh, right, so um, you can take pretty much any input here, any 3D geometry to map the, the texture on. You can play around with the scale here and here. Uh, yeah you just just really mess around with it one last thing i want to just say is that this might not be the perfect way to do this i'm not sure if there is a perfect way i mean there's always many ways to achieve something in touch designer but um yeah this isn't very flexible so uh like because if i was to say we are spinning rap rapid rapidly <laughs> then it doesn't fit in there anymore, then, yeah, it's too small. You could change the resolution, or you can just change the font size X here to, like, something like this, and then everything fits on there again. But, yeah, it doesn't, like, it, it doesn't, it's not very flexible, <laughs> for lack of a better word. But uh, maybe you find a better way to do that part. All right, I just me messed up a bit. So I just cut that out. So um, yeah, that's it. And uh, just wanted to say thank you for watching. And I see you on the next one.